Coming up on Around Kern County, the Board of Supervisors is continuing to tackle homelessness in our community. We're breaking down the latest program designed to help Kern County's most vulnerable. And it's Social Work Appreciation Month here in Kern County. We're highlighting the positive impacts of this profession in our community when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Kern County Board of Supervisors is continuing to tackle homelessness in our community. During this week's board meeting, supervisors approved an agreement with the Community Action Partnership of Kern to operate a safe camping and parking program at the M Street Navigation Center. When the M Street Navigation Center was first planned, it included a safe camping and safe parking element. It was also a component of the county's multi-departmental strategic action plan to reduce homelessness and mitigate its impacts on public safety and quality of life. Here's what the space looks like right now, complete with lights, cameras, and socially distant spaces for residents and their pets experiencing homelessness. More upgrades are also on the way, including a closed-in wall around the perimeter of the property. We are currently lining up our contractors for fencing, electrical work, etc., and uh, plan to initiate the work soon. It's an important step in the county's effort, and really the entire community's effort, to address homelessness, as it provides a safe place for the homeless to go and camp and park if they are hesitant to enter one of our traditional centers here in the community. The idea of this program is to give those who are not yet ready to enter M Street an interim safe space to live that is actually a gateway to entering the shelter. People living in this safe camping and parking space will be provided basic resources such as food and bathrooms as well as engagement from outreach services. Additionally, the area will be monitored by security to ensure the safety of residents. Homelessness isn't a one-size-fits-all matter. It's going to require a lot of different solutions. This is really going to contribute to rounding out the resources we have. So far, the M Street Navigation Center has provided people experiencing homelessness with the opportunity to learn job skills, become employed, and find permanent housing. I just want to say how much I appreciate the, uh, the ability of uh, the CAO's office to think outside the box a little bit about how to solve this problem. It's going to take a lot of ways for us to get out. I mean, we have to have a comprehensive approach, and I think the county is, is working on that comprehensive approach. The Kern County Board of Supervisors has proclaimed March as Social Work Appreciation Month here in Kern County. During this week's board meeting, supervisors honored our county's social workers for their positive contributions to our community. Social workers are truly everyday heroes dedicated to improving the well-being and self-sufficiency of our Kern County children and families. Social Work Appreciation Month is recognized nationally to highlight the positive contributions of this profession, which creates safer, stronger, and healthier communities. The theme of this year's campaign is the time is right for social work. I have the privilege daily to hear the positive impact that welfare to work, social workers, and child protective social workers do in our community. So what is the typical day in the life of a social worker? Many of them would just tell you it's a very busy life. They stay with children in hours in the middle of the night at hospitals to ensure children receive medical care. They go out into dangerous situations without law enforcement and with law enforcement to ensure children and our elderly population are safe and protected. They fly across the country to place a child with a grandmother or grandfather so they can stay with family. They work with transitioned aged youth and emancipated foster youth to ensure that they don't become homeless. Currently, there are more than 400 social workers within our Kern County workforce and more than 715,000 across the nation. Kern County Supervisors also proclaimed March as National Nutrition Month here in our community during this week's board meeting. This campaign is led by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and focuses on the importance of making informed food choices as well as developing healthy eating and physical activity habits. We locally grow a lot of our foods here um, and they're full of wonderful flavors 
and beautiful colors. Um, so we should inspire our community to engage in healthy behaviors. Um, good sleep, eating more vegetables and fruits, um, sitting less, uh, being more active, uh, and being kind to each other. Right now, Kern County Public Health has an entire suite of free services for residents looking to better their health. The department's latest initiative, Let's Get Healthy Kern, focuses on a holistic approach in supporting residents in their health and wellness journey. If you would like to access this program or learn more about it, please visit kernpublichealth.com. Kern County Animal Services is spreading the luck of the Irish to residents looking to adopt a pet. Anyone who comes into their shelter this month wearing green can adopt an animal for a reduced fee of $17 in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. If you'd like to look at what animals are currently available for adoption, you can visit Kern County Animal Services website at kerncountyanimalservices.org. And we're ending today with some exciting news about our local parks. This week, Kern County was awarded three grants totaling more than $9 million to be used for county park improvements through the Clean California Grant Program. These funds will help us renovate Heritage Park located in East Bakersfield, Mojave East Park, and Lost Hills Park. You're taking a look at the different plans that will be guiding our county improvements. From shade structures, to new restrooms, to renovated soccer fields, to updated play equipment, to local art, fantastic features are on the way for residents in these communities. And it wasn't just our county of Kern that was awarded grant funding. The city of Bakersfield, city of Ridgecrest, city of Shafter, city of Tehachapi, and City of Wasco were also awarded grant funding. A huge congratulations to all of these cities. And be sure to tune in to next week's episode where we'll have more information on these exciting projects. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.